very good morning to you all and welcome back to another episode of Super Yacht Times. It's been a while since you guys have seen me here on YouTube and to make up for that I've got a very very special episode planned for today. I've come here to the beautiful small town of Sarnico, home of the iconic Italian yacht builder Riva. I'm here on Lake Iseo and I'm going to take you guys inside the factory today to find out what goes on in making these beautiful craft. So come on, let's go back to the shipyard and see what's going on. One of the first names in luxury yachting, the Riva brand has become synonymous with elegance and simple luxury. The sleek and sporty day boats that are so often associated with chic Italian style was the vision of the late engineer Carlo Riva, who was the living embodiment of the brand and everything it still stands for today. Here at the shipyard in Sarnico, the company has converted an old boat shed into a fantastic Riva museum, which outlines the history of the brand and how Carlo Riva's grandfather founded the company. The story is a fascinating one and talks about how Carlo Riva managed to shift production from a once race boat orientated shipyard into a sophisticated and luxury yacht builder in the 1950s to produce legendary models such as the famous Aquarama and the twin engine Tritone, of which over a thousand units were produced. Riva was convinced that this luxury approach is the future of the company and in the 1960s he shook things up again when composite hull construction was introduced in selected models. The final wooden model was completed in 1996 when the Aquarama hull number 784 was delivered. Today the Riva production line has been perfected and here in Sarnico the shipyard specializes in the production of models ranging from 27 to 66 feet or around 20 meters in length. The shipyard relies heavily on its experienced workforce to pass down generations of knowledge to a new and growing group of men and women who work here. But it's not only here in this small village tucked away in the Italian countryside where Riva is building their yachts. <laughs> As a serious player in the 30 meter plus market, Riva has developed a new line of superiors that carry the same authentic Italian heritage and unrivaled quality as found in its smaller craft. With a shipyard in La Spezia and another in Ancona, these facilities are producing the same trusted Riva boats we have come to know and love, but on a much larger scale. One of my favourites is the new 110 Dolce Vita with its sleek profile and exhilarating performance. However, the most impressive project in Riva Supiot lineup has got to be the new 50 meter motor yacht that is under construction at its Supiot division in Ancona. This steel and aluminium project will be their largest to date when completed next year. Visiting the shipyard where it all began for this Italian brand has given me perspective and a greater understanding of what Riva has achieved over the past 50 years. It is exciting to see how one of the coolest names in yachting has branched out deeper into the super yacht market and I cannot wait to see what they come up with next. 